Hello and welcome back to my let's play on Shogun 2, where last time we left off we were still losing money, but uh, doing the very high low, very high low trick is kind of working out. I know it's still kind of cheesy, but on the other hand, um, again, I feel like in, in a time of war it's necessary. I'm not doing this to make money, to, you know, add to my bank. I'm doing this to stay afloat, so I think it's a, it's a legitimate tactic in this particular case. Obviously, it probably would make more sense to just do normal very high, normal very high, but um, obviously, this I don't even like this tactic that much because it does reduce, it gives you like, um, uh, does it say it here right now? Discontent, minus 25, which you get from basically constantly going back and forth between uh, your um, your taxes, people don't like it. So it's ruining my my late game economy, but not by much really, because it doesn't really it doesn't really matter all that much to be honest. Um, what I could, however, also do is I could just recruit two more units in every single town and keep my taxes on normal the whole time instead, which would actually um, make me an extra seven grand a turn, uh, which is probably more than the units I would have to recruit to do this. To be fair, I need like two units in every single one of these towns. Which is a lot of towns, to be fair. But I'll, uh, I'll stick to this tactic for now. Maybe, or will I? I don't know. If I'm going to do this, I need to do it in every single town, you know. I need to recruit two units in every single town. I could do it. Basically, by next turn, it'd be fine. Um, Yeah, fuck it. Let's do it. Let's recruit two units in every single town. Um, So, yeah, just... You... You. I think in the towns where I have one happiness, like here, I might only need one unit. I mean, I don't know why I would need more. Uh, so let's just say one. Okay. Tsukushi. Hyuga. Oh. Uzen. Bungo. Capital Nagato. Which will be happier soon because of that, but even then. Suo, two units. And I'm out of money. Right, how many more units do I need? Four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. I can't afford to do this right now. <laughs> Cancel this whole plan. I could recruit one in every single town, and then next turn I recruit one more in every single time, but I, I'd, I'd go bankrupt before that even happens. I just realized I can't afford to recruit these units. So this plan, unfortunately, is not actually possible right now. Don't know why I didn't think about that. The actual recruitment costs are going to do it for me. Anyway, uh, we did this battle last time. Of course, I resolved that battle and lost half our force, which was kind of uh, not what I expected at all. But there it is. Uh, reinforcements can be drawn from further field. I think I had someone who already had that. These are both pretty shit, but it's my daimyo or my uh, son there, so I guess I'll give him that. Is my daimyo ever going to die? I don't think so. He's quite young, isn't he? 34, yeah. Unless he gets assassinated, of course. Uh, this navy was going to grab this guy and bring him over. There. I guess I'll start moving immediately. Um, and this navy was on its way to start blockading. I could start a blockade here. Uh, this navy from here is going to do the same. I'll just recruit a single ship here at some point to send this uh, army back. It's going to be a while anyway. And that dry dock's never going to get repaired for a long time. Never for a long time. Okay, so yeah, this is actually, we just need these two, in fact, would already be enough to make a blockade here. And then we have everything covered. Although I do wonder if this guy can just get past me here or not. Either way, we'll attack him and he flees towards my side, which sucks. Because I can't really get him there. If I raid this, no, I can't, I can't raid it. Actually, how much money would that make me? Oh, 600 bucks, but it... Actually, no, yeah, that works. I'll just take one unit, put him there. Alright. Uh, make a little bit much less money from it because it'll happen still. If, yeah, basically wherever I can raid, I should. Have I got any raiding to do here? Uh, if I do that, I would have to put a ship here and that would make it so I can't... No, that would still work. Yeah. Basically, actually, yeah, just, just do this. Just take four ships and be like, yo. Okay, that was only 200 bucks. That's really not a lot. 283. Better than nothing, I suppose. And we're still in rage with each other, so that should be okay. And we're still 
making sure no one can get past us here. Alright, cool. I mean, we really would need every single fucking penny we can get, so this is not that crazy. Um, in fact, you know, it's actually a pretty good tactic, just to make a little bit extra money. Okay, so no, uh, no place is going to rebel. We got that under control for the moment. Um, and yeah, we're just waiting. I can't go out of anywhere without happiness being a massive issue. I'd love to go take another town or two, but... Also, waiting for winter to be over is not a bad idea either. Um, yeah, we dealt with that. So no more battles either. I was really hoping that was going to be a battle. And of course, I need to add a couple more units in there, but that's going to be for quite a while from now. I forgot to move him and him, but that's okay. Didn't really have anything specific to do with them anyway, just kind of look around. Which they did. Okay, if they come over and attack me, I'm actually totally fine with that. I want I want some battles. They do have like three armies right there. Yeah, you as well. Please, feel free to come over. Don't do that. That's what I need to not have happen right now. Is you bombarding that port, because that could seriously... That could get me bankrupt very quickly. Hopefully they failed the bombardments. I did see they were still taking attrition, so at least they're taking enough damage still. But And I don't think my income went down. But we'll see. No, it's going up in fact. I don't know why exactly, but there it is. Another sun, which is never going to see the light of day either. Alright, so yeah, you filled that. It's only two ships, but I have no ships here, so I basically have to m just wait for them to take so much attrition from my trading port that eventually they die off, essentially. Or send these guys over to deal with them, but... Um... Which is not actually that bad of an idea, to be honest. Supervising. Yeah, let's go kill them off. Basically, actually, in fact, it would not even be a bad idea to use this navy now to kill everything off that's behind my line, because the... the um, final blockade is here. I have now got everything blockaded. Nothing can get past me at this particular moment in time. Uh, I did say I was going to set this up here because otherwise they can just naval invade me here. So let's go ahead and do that. But yeah, nothing can get past me anymore. If I can get back in that position in time as well. Which I... Ugh, I can't, actually. Okay, I'll have to put them here for, for a sec. Is that even good enough? Yeah, it is. Alright, and then, yeah, we'll kill that off, and we'll put the navy there. And then, yeah, no one can get past me right now. Which means that I need, to, I need a navy like this one to take out everything that's already past me. Then reinforce the barrier, the blockade, and then we're going to be totally fine. Alright, they took a lot of damage from that attrition, apparently. Also, their army sucks, so they're probably just going to bust up my harbor and stuff. Yeah. Which is one turn away from getting a trade port, so that would be kind of unfortunate, but so be it. Uh, we're going to up the tax again to very high. Got to make that money now to 14 grand, so we're going back up in the world. Do I want to kill this geisha? Probably. Otherwise, she might kill my... That's unfortunate. Send you up here to do the same. Otherwise, she's going to kill this dude off, no problem. Foreign veterans love a geisha. Um, all right, yeah, you as well. Please feel free to come over. You've got some parrot guns there with some exceptional charge. I like that. That's an interesting, uh, interesting tactic. I like it. Uh, oh, I could put my army there and just kind of make it a. F well, actually, no, I can't. I'll make it a bridge battle. I was going to say, but I can't actually get onto the bridge. Might still be a bridge battle though. If I attack them. It's just paired gun versus my gun. The problem is if I don't attack them, they'll probably just attack my farm and be annoying as fuck. But I think I'll still let them come towards me first. Wait, what the fu- I never got rid of the buildings here. Oopsie. That was a bit shit. A bit stupid, wasn't it? You fucking idiot. You total fucking idiot. That was your job, you fucking moron. You cretin. Alright, sorry. Uh, that was a... Mitchell on the web quotes, in case you're wondering. Um, you want no turkey. Another geisha here, and a foreign veteran here, so let's try and kill this one off too. Yeah, you're definitely the better choice. The other guy's level two. Alright. 
cost me a lot of money this, but it's kind of important. I really don't want to lose my foreign veterans. They're pretty important in these are Well, no, no, I mean, you know, it's not like we need them to win the campaign or anything, but they do, they are quite useful. Alright, there's army number two. Army number two, yeah, that's exactly what I expected they would do. Uh, they might be in range for me to attack them there, though. They're going to attack my farm as well, but they're going to hopefully come close. No, they're not, so I have to... Nope, yeah, they are. So we may actually attack them in the field, otherwise they're going to fuck up my gold farm too. Income went down a lot from all those raids. That looked like a uh, special ship right there, an ironclad. Ironclad. That's a geisha rank up, that's one happiness across all provinces, that's that one that was quite close. I almost forgot about that again. Oh, and spring, Ooh, which actually means that we can go to normal tax right now. Uh, already, actually. But especially when I upgrade that Geisha. Fuck, that's why my income's terrible. Ooh, and on normal tax, we're, well, we're still losing money right now, but not so much. Um, need to build ourselves a cottage industry here. But most importantly, get that Geisha ranked up. So we need... Wait. Did I get this wrong? Was it... Is it a different agent? I could have sworn that was Geishas that said plus one happiness across all provinces. Fuck. Clearly not. There is the wall from businesses across all provinces. Fuck, who was it again? Was it the Ishin Shishi that does that then? Uh, shit. I think it was the Ishin Shishi. Yeah, it was. Fuck. Let me check that, but I'm pretty sure it was. Uh, characters, right, follow samurai, Ishin Shishi. All right, it would have been this one, I think. Uh, plus one happiness across all provinces. Yeah, it was the Ishin Shishi. Fuck, I missed, I missed that. I, I messed it up. God, this is horrible. Right, okay, well, I mean, this is still good. We can get more money from the wealth from businesses across all provinces. And I think we get this one as well, don't we? Yeah, definitely. So that should have increased my income by a little bit, but not much. Um, damn. That's actually why all my towns were unhappy when I roundified. That's why I got that minus one. Because it was the Ishin Shishi that disappeared. Oh, I totally didn't realize that. Alright, this place is actually mostly independent now. Good stuff. All the other towns are not quite yet, but they'll go up at some point. Okay, so happiness is a lot more manageable now, at least. We only got minus one happiness here. I mean, we're still losing money on this on, on, uh, on this tax rate, but at least I don't have to go to low anymore. I can go on normal, and then I can go very high, normal, very high. Or I could keep it on normal, which, once this is repaired, would hopefully make me money again. Good, flee that way. That's kind of awkward still, but I need to go rid of this one first. But they went too far now, I can't reach anyone. Let's put you there. Kind of protect it that way. For now, at least. Alright. Um, definitely can't afford to repair that. Uh, so, yeah, recruiting units there. I have an army to murder right here. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Oh, they also fucked up my, yeah, they fucked up my port up. I remember now. You fucked up my farm. And we'll kill this army in the field as well, I think. They have some parrot guns, so it's not fantastic, but we still outranged them a tiny bit, I think. 550, I think I got 600, and I? Nope, we have the same amount of range, but that's okay. Right. Oh, really? I can't even reach them? Are you kidding me? If I... Okay, well, they'll probably attack my farm and then come even closer, so... Sure. Because if I attack them, they'll just run away. Is that Geisha in here now? Yeah, she is. Trying to hide from me a little bitch? I don't think so. Alright, now this army here, I'll just attack them right now. I said I'll just attack you right now! Okay, that's also not as old because they ran away. But, uh, I think we're gonna fight that one. We need some battles. The battles are really fun. I mean, we did one of them so far, and it was a, a blast, literally, because <laughs> we shoot stuff. 
fucking hilarious. We did have a naval uh, bombardment with that one too, which we don't have now, but that was a big naval bombardment too. Good old, big old naval bombardo. And I still want to get all my diamonds, or my, my diamonds, all my generals up to level 6 as well, or at least most of them. More agents and more discounts and stuff. And of course, that is part of the challenge. Uh, no, I think I'll not take fog. Thank you very much. Uh, I prefer not rain either. Can I just have dry? Thanks. All right. What is your command? No reinforcements fucking me in the ass this time around. So we're gonna sit right here and more carbine cam in this army. Oh, I totally forgot. You're supposed to be there. Wait, did I? Oh no, the other one army didn't have one of those. Never mind. I was gonna say, did I lose that guy? Um. Wait, I didn't do anything. There. Oh, you should be in the middle. Yep. Stuck in the middle with you. All right. So basically. We are at the same range as them, cannon-wise, but unless they put them right there, they won't be able to hit my men anyway, and I can just snipe theirs, essentially, if they don't come towards me, which they very well might. Today, sir, we attack. Boom. Okay, let's actually see if, they're, see if they're coming towards me. It certainly appears like they are. Boom. Whoa. That may have wounded someone. That definitely killed a guy. I'd like to believe. Oh, we're being shot back at though. But we're firing back at them as well. That's what I want to see. Directly onto the cannons. I need to destroy our cannons. So that we have cannon advantage. I'm not sure if we're losing many men right now. Okay, they're coming towards me though, which means they're clearly thinking, oh shit, man, I'll win this. But let me have a look, because yeah, my unit's getting fucked here. Whoa. They are coming towards me. My uh, cannons aren't in range of theirs, so... I could, however, take my cav. i start chasing them down. They have cav as well, so we gotta be carry. Okay, carry. We gotta be careful. The Boki wouldn't be a problem. The Yariki, however, this unit's properly getting focused here. Guarding your commander, or our commander. Actually. Kind of weird that they said your commander, as if they don't. As if you know, they they told him I'm guarding your commander, even though he is the commander. I am the Senate. Right. Keep going, fellas. A little bit worried about the calf, but the Yariki could be problematic, but if we get a volley off on them first, it shouldn't be a problem. Bokeh wouldn't be a problem at all. So you're gonna go right there, you're gonna go right there, and then that should take care of them, no problem. And now the fun begins. Let's make sure we murder the Yariki, though. Because it runs all the way across. Oh, I think it decided, oh wait, we gotta go deal with those calf over there, except now they're half dead. I'll have one unit facing them then. You have triumphed over what? the enemy! Let's not get too ahead of ourselves here, friends. Yeah, they are coming. They're gonna get wrecked very quickly. Hopefully. Sir, Hello? I fear your general is in mortal peril, yeah. sir. That's pretty good. Uh, I fear you're uh, mistaken. That's what I fear. I also totally didn't put these guys in the right place. Although we did kill something there. And if we have already won, so there's no point changing it anymore. Alright. That worked out pretty well. See, that was fun, wasn't it? I'd say that was pretty fun. This fucking Yari Kachi running like mad. <laughs> How have we not won yet, by the way? What's going on here? These infinite morale... Pa no, they're gone as well. General broke. Hello? 
Oh, there's a unit here. Okay. Sure. Oh, never mind. They're like, fuck it. Wait a second. This isn't a good idea at all. General came back, though. Can we snipe him? No, we can't. I mean, maybe we could if I targeted him. Oh, I... <laughs> Killzone didn't help. Fuck him. Alright, whatever. Decisive victory. I would argue that you're right. That was pretty decisive. Uh, this is the thing. Shogun 2 battles are so much fun. Like, it's just so entertaining watching people die like that. I still can't believe when I first, like my first campaign I played of Shogun, uh, of Fall of the Summer, I mean, people commented constantly saying, you need to have some melee troops in your army, you gotta defend your guns against melee troops, or blah, blah, And even then I said, I feel like you don't though, because if you have enough guns to kill everyone, it doesn't matter. And I've always stuck by that, and I still think that these kind of armies are the best. Like, why would you put a couple, I don't know, Yari, Kachi, or, or anything else that's melee in the army? It just doesn't seem to make sense to me. Like, why would you do that? It just doesn't feel right. You don't need melee units to defend yourself, or you can just kill everything before they reach you anyway. Um, but yeah, good stuff. There's an enemy ninja there, which I might have to murder. Good stuff. Alright, am I recruiting units here? Yes, I think I was... I already had this shit on my control. Income's pretty meh. Could very easily uh, go down to minus. We could go bankrupt this coming turn, but then we'll fix it the same turn, which means we'll be okay again. Uh, although if we go bankrupt, this place will probably rebel, but that's okay. We have an army nearby. Look at the amount of sh fucking units I have in every single town now. That's absolutely mad. Just to keep the place happy. And this is a normal tax. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, that's really bad. Also, when spring goes away, I'm going to have to recruit more units again. But that's okay. We'll deal with that when that happens, you know. The non-clan legions. Oh, that's actually minus three only here, and it's not even going up anymore. Same there. What? Is that something that the geisha provided? Or something? Did I miss that? Um, no, it doesn't look like it. I don't know why all of a sudden we only need, we only have minus three in all provinces, but there it is. Don't go allegiance minus three, that's the max. Okay, if you say so. I don't know. Fall of Samurai still kind of confuses me sometimes. Uh, okay, we definitely can't get out of here for a while. This is still going up to minus four. Okay. Sure, why not? Why not? Let's just, you know, make things even more confusing. Four more turns until I start making money. Good shit. Uh, this army, I'm going to let them get a little bit closer, and I'll probably auto resolve that one, because that looks like it's just a shitty army of wooden cannons. They're going to be annoying again. Please don't bombard my port. I need that money. They're going to attack the farm, and then, yeah, go to the mine. They call it the mine. Oh, mine. Wow, they actually lost the second battle. They're gonna bombard too. Yep, that looks like it's busted. I saw smoke coming off of it, so I might go bankrupt here. See, that's an ironclad right there. I don't know which one, but it certainly is one. Oop, and there's a naval invasion. We have everything blockaded, so... They might be uh, invading someone else, or they might think they can just push their way through. Ooh, we're actually making money. I'm not sure how that happened. Pretty sure our port got bu busted, so... I don't even know if I can... Oh, no, it didn't. This got busted, though. Can't afford to repair it. Good, we discovered them. We gotta kill them off. Write them down. Write them down. Now. My yeah, I'll just that one. Lost 125 dudes. Hope they can't reach. No, they definitely can't. My sword for you, my lord. Okay, well, tax is still being upped to. This is gonna fucking rebel. Oh no, never mind. To that. No one's gonna rebel, so that's all good. So I'm gonna make 15, almost 16 grand this turn. I'm gonna force this repair. And force this one too. Which means that for once our bank is, <laughs> is below zero, but our income is above. So that's interesting. Right, you're gonna have to chase some actual ships down now. Fuck, where the fuck did they go? Kill them off. 
Wow. Impressive for one ship. Holy crap. How did that happen? And there's still a couple ships over here who bombarded something else. Possibly that building. Uh, yeah, unhappiness. I mean, we knew that was going to happen. Okay. Right, you're going to say fuck off, please, to them. And then we'll let them fight each other. And we're going to sit right here and raiding that. And... Well, he could live. We don't have the money anyway, so that's fine. I'd like to go kill them. But that's okay. Let's just keep an eye on them. You might want to take these, this faction out, by the way. Then again, I kind of like them being alive, because they do have some naval stuff still, and I actually see them actively fighting these guys, so... That works out pretty well for me. For you. You're going in there. Uh, for... I do wonder if I can get out of here at some point. I really want to take another town or two. Modernization is actually getting going up, so it's going to be less happy when this gets done. Oh, I did upgrade that silver vault. Interesting. Fuck me, 12 grand to upgrade that. Not happening. Not for a while, anyway. Okay. Um, another turn ended. In three turns, our income is going to go up drastically. Very much looking forward to that moment. Definitely can't get out of here yet. I definitely can't afford... Well, I can force the repair. Although it is repairing itself, I think. It's only six grand now. Six and a half. Wasn't it eight before? Or something like that. Um, so I guess I'll let that be for a little bit as well. Yeah, you come on over as well. I'll happily murder you too. Yeah, you too. Everyone. Everyone, get in here. As long as they attack me where I have an army, I'm totally willing to take it. Odawara, I guess they... Okay, maybe my, my uh, um, blockade wasn't entirely fixed here. And now that I put them there, they're like, wait, we can't actually get there, so let's go back. Alright. Uh, port's completed. That's actually a regular port. Wow. Let's get that church rating port. Uh, bombarded our port. Got to go down to normal tax again. EO is still going to rebel. Which means I can't go out and kill them. Actually, well, I could. Technically, I can't reach them though, so never mind. I'm going to fuck up my farm again and run past me. Then I'll kill them again, so that's not a problem. Losing money, but not a huge amount anymore. There is a navy here. Let's take these four. Go kill them off. I said fuck off. My god, it goes so far. Fuck you. Oh my god, I survived again, are you serious? Okay, well I can get in here. Get repaired. Get you in there and we get repaired as well. The port's busted, right? Can't do that. Go over here. I was pressing R, I was like, why am, am I not seeing my treasury change? It's like, oh right. I don't have the money. And as they say, it is all about the money. It's all about the ding ding, ding ding ding, dong dong, or something like that. It's uh, an ancient prophet once said. Anyway, um, I would really like to recruit those five or six units that I need to put in this army, but I can't really afford to do that right now. I mean, I could take six units from here, but then this place would rebel again, so. Um, yeah, there's that. Still can't really afford to repair it. Is that going down? It is going down by like 200 a turn. It's not very quick, but it will eventually repair itself, I guess. Um, I still can't really do anything. I don't know what I'm checking. Let's just move on, shall we? Couple turns, still merchant houses, and that's going to really increase my income drastically. I do, I need... Oh, fuck no! You assholes! I guess because I, I wasn't building anything there before, and now I am. I could try and sabotage it and then attack him. Oh no, this guy's gonna try and get rid of one of my agents. Please don't. I need these agents. Oh, did he try and cause a rebellion? I think he tried to incite revolt, which I think I'll be okay with. Gives me something to do. <laughs> Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Uh, it's time to attempt. Yeah, he didn't actually succeed, but I like the I like the the, the chance of it happening. All right. We're making money on normal. I'm going to still do this for a little bit longer, though. I need to make sure I make a lot more money. 
Alright, that ship there is gonna get fucked. Enemy Navy withdraws, what a fucking surprise. Go kill him, 1v1, you should easily win that. Capture it too, I didn't fucking say anything about that, get out of here. Get repaired again, and that I think gets rid of most of the, most if not everything behind my line. I haven't seen anything else move behind my line, so that should be good. Just gotta reinforce this one, but again, if we get attacked here, we could always win because we have that ship anyway. It's just that the enemy might attack them because it's, it's only six ships. Um... One more turn until our income. So I did actually want to check this. So currently our army upkeep is 25k. So if you add these, up, these both together, it's about, let's say, 45k. So 10% discount on that should be 4,500. So I should increase my income by 4,500 from just getting that one thing. Which would be pretty nice. Uh, and our port's been repaired again. So trade is continuing with France, United States of America, and Britland. Uh, Alright, so let's... I think just immediately end the turn. Actually, I need to kill this guy off. Well, I think I also really want to do this one. How much is this? Free grand. Fuck me, that's expensive. Why is that so expensive? Let's see. I won't be able. To, well, let's see if I if I f succeed. Then I won't be able to afford this one anymore, <laughs> which means it's fine. Because they'll come and attack my port, or my uh, farm. And then they'll end up over here somewhere and I'll kill them off next turn. Alright, once that's gone through, I think I'll stick to normal attacks. And then we can actually make some money again. Without having to fuck up the rest of our future economy. Oh shit, they're behind me. Wait, where was that? Oh, they run just straight up past me, okay. Hopefully I discovered them so I can attack them in the in the forest there. I kind of forgot them. I think I was going to attack them last turn, but I just didn't think about the fact that they're there. They're there. Concealed army discovered, so I probably did see them. Yeah, there you go. 21 grand, so that went up by about 4.5k. Uh, no, we're going to go here first. I need to get that daimyo honor as well as all with the spread of influence. As much as I want repression and stuff, which I do need as well, I need everything, essentially. Sabotage in Obama army against instilling fear. That's pretty relevant. Concealed army discovered. That's the one up here. Yeah, we gotta murder them. They got one parrot gun. Five of their finest generals. Every single one of them level three. That's impressive. I've never seen that before. <laughs> that's like, what the fuck? Alright. Well done to you, man. Alright, normal tax and we're making six grand again. Finally, we're going up there. We've uh, managed to hold on, which actually I think is quite quite a feat in and of itself. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I will try and sabotage this army, not because I want that reward, but because it makes my life a little bit easier when I attack them here. Um, which I will do, and then we'll end the episode on that attack or on that victory, unless I want to fight this one. Uh, yeah, you know what. It's obviously clear, easy out of us all, but it'd be fun to do another battle on that next time. So we're, we'll go ahead and do that. Well, I can't speak anymore. We'll go ahead and do that. Thank you guys for watching once again. Hope you enjoyed. Things are finally kicking off a little bit. We're, we've managed our to, to repair our financial situation. We just need to recruit a couple units to keep or to get our, our uh, units in the north replenished on the island. And then once happiness kind of finally kicks in, we can start rushing through towns and instantly win this campaign. Because uh, we are going to be running out of time at some point. You know, it was supposed to be a late game campaign, which I think I've achieved. I need to still... I mean, I'm, I'm still building a couple star ports at least. Uh, star forts even. But I would like a couple more. Uh, and I, w I guess I want to at some point then incite rebellions in my own towns. Or, so I can actually use those things. Even if it's only against rebels. Because I just want to see what it's like. Because otherwise we have everything pretty well under control. We've got our... Uh, naval blockades up. We've got all the armies that are coming in. We could easily handle them, no problem. So it's just happiness that needs a, a fix now, which is our next goal. Until then, have a good day and goodbye.